Hi guys, this is your DK again. Welcome to the next tutorial of deep learning using PyTorch. In this video, we are going to see how to build a convolution neural network with our custom data set using PyTorch. Instead of wasting the time, let's jump into the demo. Now, let's try to understand the input data set. So, I have created a folder input and I have created a two folders, subfolders of baby and flower. So, here I have placed all the baby images like human baby images i have some sample of five images over here and i have a flower images over here let me show the same so i have a four flower images over here i'm going to train my convolution neural network using these images and i have a, another folder named test over here testing so here in testing i have kept two different images so one baby image and uh, another flower image so i'm gonna train my neural network based upon the images which is inside the input folder and i'm going to test the neural network in the testing folder of these two images now let's look at the coding part i have pre-written the code let me explain you the same so in line number one we are importing all the important touch packages if you want to know what all packages and explanation of everything i kindly request you to watch my previous video where we have explained each and every touch packages and how to build a artificial neural network on top of it so in line number two what we have done is like we have passed the path of our input image so you need to pass the path of the master folder not the subfolders so inside input we have two subfolders inside its subfolders we have kept our images over there make sure the image is of a proper format pytorch currently supports jpj png image formats kindly make sure your image is of this particular format so i'm going to pass this master folder over here so that's what we have done so in line number three what we have done is like we have defined a simple neural network so we have inherited nn.module nn.module is nothing but a pytorch module which has pre-built neural network functions over there we are going to inherit it so here you can see i have defined my first hidden layer so first one is a convolution layer so 3 comma 16 3 is nothing but a for a colored image we do have three different channels red green and blue that is what three defines over here if you want to know more about image processing and how to read an image or video using OpenCV. Kindly request you to watch my OpenCV tutorial series, which helps in understanding more deeper in it. So, here what we're gonna do is like we're gonna convert the three dimensional image. So, a colored image will be of a three dimension. We are going to convert a three dimensional image into a 16 dimension. I'm going to multiply it with a kernel size of three, with a stride of one, and padding of one. After that, I'm gonna perform a ReLU activation function and a max polling of kernel size 2 and stride of 2. This is going to be my first hidden layer. And next, I have an another hidden layer of convolution 16,32. So the output of the first hidden layer, 16 dimension, is going as an input. So that's why we have mentioned 16 over here. And this hidden layer is going to give a output of 32 dimension after that i have a fully connected layer which takes 32 dimension and converts into a 64 dimension so what does this 56 comma 56 denotes is like so input i'm gonna pass an image of 224 comma 224 size so after first convolution the size will be reduced to half which is 112 after 112 in the second convolution the size will be further reduced to half which is 56 so this is going to be my fully connected neural network after this fully connected neural network i'm going to convert the 64 dimensions into a two outputs either it can be a baby or a flower so this is how we need to define our convolution neural network if you want to add more convolution layer you can just copy paste this piece of block and you can add as much as possible so in line number four what we have done is like we are using a pytorch transform function so what this function does is like this helps in transforming your input data set accordingly to your neural network 
so here what i have done is like i'm going to resize an image to 224 comma 224 the reason is like all the image you are feeding into the neural network should be of a same size else it will be difficult for the neural network to process the same so i'm going to resize it once i have resized it i'm going to convert it into a pytorch of tensors after that i'm going to perform a normalization so if you see as mentioned before a colored image will be of a three dimension one with the red green and blue i'm going to normalize each and every dimension with a mean of spatial futures and standard deviation of three spatial futures over here that's what a line number four denotes after that i'm gonna load the data set so here i'm gonna read the data set from a folder so i need to pass image folder functions of pytorch and i'm going to pass the path of the folder and i'm going to pass the transform parameter which i defined in the previous step so it's going to read the image by applying this transformation and it's going to store it in the data set once the data set is ready i'm going to split it into a train and validation set so here you can see 80 percent of the data i'm going to take it as a train size and 20 percent of the data i'm going to take it as a validation size after that what i'm going to do is like i'm going to load it into a pytorch data set loader using this data loader functionality so in the above step we have defined our convolution neural network architecture and also we have successfully loaded our input data so next what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create an object for my convolution neural network and i'm going to define my loss function which is a cross entropy and the optimizer which is an adam optimizer and i'm going to pass a learning rate of 0 0.01 so once everything is done i'm going to set number of epoch as 10 and i'm going to check the device if it is gpu enabled i'm going to run it in the gpu else it is cpu enabled i'm going to run it as in a cpu so the output of this one explains you the full architecture of how the convolution layer is going to look so in line number 10 what i have done is like for each and every epoch I'm going to call the neural network, which is the model object which I created over here. Model, which is a simple neural network. I'm going to pass my input image, which is going to do the forward propagation. Once forward propagation is done, I'm going to perform the loss calculation. Once loss calculation is done, I'm going to perform the backward propagation. After this, I need to update the weights parameter. That's what I have mentioned in optimizer.step. So, this is going to happen for multiple epochs so this is for my training data set so as mentioned before we have split our data into train and validation set so i'm gonna train the data using train set the same step i am going to replicate it for validation also so here i am going to calculate the accuracy based upon the actual output and the output predictor let me run this piece of code and let's see what's happening okay since i have a small amount of data i am getting an accuracy of 100 percent with a loss of very minimal one but if you look at your real time projects you will be using of minimum of 5000 to 6000 samples so you will be having an epoch of 2000 to 3000 so next what i'm going to do is like i'm going to save the model this is what the save model looks so now i have created a simple convolution neural network and i have trained it using a pytorch now what i need to do is like i need to test it with the testing data set so i need to pass the path of the image over here so as mentioned earlier so here i have a testing folder and i'm going to pass the path of this baby image over here so let me copy this one uh, let me go here okay let me copy this one testing uh, baby dot test let me paste it over here and baby underscore test let me run it so you can see over here so our model is able to predict the image correctly as a baby over here let me try to get an image of flower in the internet and let me test with it flower images okay let me give images over here and let me take this particular image and let me save the same in this particular path it is a wvb file which is not supported so i need to take someone which is of uh, jpeg format 
let me check out whether i have any jpg format over here okay it should be of a jpg let me yeah it is of a jpg let me rename it as flower underscore test let me save the image and let me pass the image over here flower underscore test you can see right our convolution neural network is able to predict an image as a flower now let me try to get some random image uh, baby image from internet so let me take this piece of image let me try out the same okay it is w hbb web file so let me pick another image uh, okay let me try with this one okay jpg so let me rename it as uh, baby web underscore test i have saved the image let me pass the image name over here you can see right our neural network is able to predict correctly as baby over here so that's it with today's videos guys if you like the video kindly do subscribe the same I will paste the below code in the description. Thanks for watching the video and happy learning.